All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is eight in the morning, it's freezing. I'm actually on my way to the shop to do a side job on two uh, C63 AMGs, and Kyle's there. I think he's gonna start putting the motor in, and I just realized that my access port was on all night, so I hope my car starts. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna film this real quick, and then, um, or I just wanted to film this real quick, so I'm gonna head over there now. And uh, the guy's already there because uh, there was a little bit of a miscommunication. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the shop. All right. So back where we left off, he has uh, gotten most of it together. Can you kind of explain a little bit just one more time? Because I don't really know what the fuck I'm looking at here. The ICT, accessory drive? Yeah, ICT build bracket for the alternator. Uh, yeah, so full ICT kit for the low mount LS1 setup. Uh, power steering, alternator. Tensioner goes up here. Yep, oil filter re uh, relocation bracket. Um, he ran the lines down underneath over to this part of the oil pan, and then the other line will run to the oil cooler back to here. ISR motor mount brackets, ISR pan, and then what do you have to do? Put the clutch on? Yeah, I can put the trans adapter plate. Adapter plate, flywheel, flywheel clutch, transmission. And then uh, put it back in the car. Doing um, valve covers on the C63. Um, the guy I sold my old one to, um, his uh, friend has one. Brought to the dealer, um, quoted him a shit ton of money, so he hit me up and figured I'd help him out. New covers are already on. Um, he was here. He, he, he just left, he's gonna come back, but new covers are on. Um, I changed the air filters and the air boxes, and then I'm just gonna torque these down, put the coil packs back in, and wrap it up. All right, this is all wrapped up. What's going on over here? Got the adapter plate on, flywheels going on. You put the pilot pushing in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pilot pushing's in. And then it'll be clutch and then transmission. Mm -hmm. And then in the car. Mm -hmm. yep. Nice. That's the plan. It really is some pretty stuff right there. This is the sicky plate? Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks a little better than the ISR plate. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get past the uh, Update, mode is in. Go up. One side header's in. You have to put one side Header in first on. when you put the motor in, and then you slide the other one in through here. Kyle's under there, bolting up the transmission mount. Well, actually, We're not in yet. yeah, you guys are just kind of sliding in, right? Wow, that is tight. All right, update. It's in. This header's in. He's what is that? The charge harness? Yeah. He's putting the charge harness on the starter to alternator. to the alternator, and then we're gonna put the other side header in. Intake manifold's going on. Same spot. Yeah. Coil packs on one side. We gotta hammer the shit out of the firewall. But we got it in there. We're gonna put the other coil packs on and then what's even left after that? Battery stuff? Um battery, fluids, catch can, swirl pot, intake. Cool. Alright, heater coil lines are ran. Um, we're, uh, brake booster line is ran. Throttle cable's hooked up. We gotta fix it though, because it only opens like 50% of the way. Um, but we're gonna put the front clip on <clears throat> and hook up the oil cooler. 
And are we going to start it? Are we going to try to start it? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Front support's on. Right now we're doing the coolant hoses. And then he's going to cut this top hose to put a fitting in for MPT fitting to go to... Coolant temp sensor. To go to the, for the coolant temp sensor. It's the biggest, biggest school and host I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> All right, everything's plumbed, front's on. He's putting their O2 sensors in. We got the intake on. Um, are we gonna try and start it? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta put the sleeve on though. Okay, put the sleeve on, put the battery in. I think we have to plug the fuel pump in and then, yeah, we'll try to uh, start it up. I right, watch for leaks. <laughs> Let me know how heavy that clutch is, too. Wait, there's like a, you got the crank sensor plugged in and everything? Yeah. There's like a wire hanging down here, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's the reverse. Oh, okay. Dude, it's lighter than it was before. Do it again. What? Be some spill on the board? Yeah. Fuel? Yeah, it's gotta be. Cool. We're off to good start. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's a fuel fuel leak right off the bat. Yeah, right out of the fucking is it right out of the line that goes, that comes out of the, like the hard line fitting? Yeah. It's so weird, it clicked right on. Unless it didn't go on all the way. Well, of course I can't get in there now because of the headers. We fixed a few leaks. Temporarily. <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs>
All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Engine's in, runs, oil's full. Um, he's gonna finish up the cooling system, the mount the oil cooler. He's gonna deal with the fuel line situation from the fuel basket to the rails because it broke and we just clamped it for now to hear it run. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward uh, plug and play, I'd say. Um, yeah, a few things to button up and then first event is in middle of March, so probably um, Yeah, I mean, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.